Here we are. We are right now in Germany. People have been asking for us to do a motorhome tour to see what is inside our motorhome while we've been traveling through Europe for the last five months. So Cleopatra said that she would like to do the if tour. If you like my mom's videos, make sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment. <laughs> and there's all the shoes. <laughs> Now put them out normal. <gasps> it's like a hoverboard. <laughs> yes. Inside we go. Let's go inside. And it's what time? 5 30 in the afternoon. Romeo, show me what you've got. I like it. Every night because it gets dark so early, you've been doing yeah. it and then going to break dancing and then Bible time. This has been fun here. We are ready for our tour. So that's why it might be a little bit dark, but we're still going to do this. This is our second video today. We just did where we all sleep in the motorhome. In you go. I'll let you shut the door and then I'll come in. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> the best way to start a tour of the motorhome is with the pantry. Yes. So let's do that. And here we have the cupboard with two levels. Do you want to open the other one also? Yes. First I have to add that over here we've used the top shelf as an educational shelf because we don't really need all that room. Baking soda, cinnamon, oregano, pizza mouse there. <laughs> Sorry. What's that in English? Pizza. To help me finish mum. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> cool. This. You put it on your pizza, it has garlic and everything in it, basil, dill. This is a mixture of paprika, salt, garlic and ginger. It's really nice. We put this on basically everything. <laughs> Nutmeg, pepper, Romeo loves pepper. Salt. That's not the brand of salt that we have in there. We've got Himalayan salt, but the salt shaker was so small I kept filling yeah. it with Himalayan salt. This is Manapuri. Manapura, King James's favorite food group. <laughs> Uh, here we have big oats. These ones are a bit smaller. Cumin tea. For my hands mainly. Cumin latte, vanilla, vegan. For mummy again, it just helps with my hands. Coffee. This is what we have so we can drive. And not die. <laughs> and I've actually started liking the taste of coffee. With no sugar at all? No sugar, just cold water. This is the best. Cold water. Just pour it from a bottle. You buy it in the fridge. It tastes better cold. Then you just pour like two spoons of this. And you shake it. Yes, and 500 milliliters of water mm -hmm. is what we put two spoons into. And we shake it yes. in cold water. We yes. don't heat our water up. Why do we have thermos bottles then? I don't know. It's just easy to... Mm -hmm. Yes, found that idea because we didn't have hot water and we really wanted coffee, so we just put the coffee in the cold water and yeah. now we do it all the time. So to have hot coffee, it's like, huh? Let's see. Chia seeds. These kind of ones and these kind of ones. We go through a lot of that. We've got four boxes of almond milk in the boot of the car. Yes. And in each box there are 12. Is there one in the fridge? Ta-da! We usually pick up a whole heap. See, it's vegan. It lasts us a week and a half. We go through a lot of it. Okay. <laughs> we go through heaps because of chia pudding. Yes. Flaxseed. This hasn't been ground yet in the machine. We have two bags here. We go through a lot of it. Poppy seeds. Sesame seeds. Sultanas. Aphrodite. Really likes these. <laughs> we sometimes have to hide them. They're lollies at our house. Actually, I've got an Instagram picture from a long time ago where one of them was caught getting the lollies, aka Sultanas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Walnuts. Brain nuts. Yes, they're one of my favorites. Pistachio nuts. Agar agar. Potato starch. Brown beans, kidney beans, chickpeas. We grow our own mung beans. We need to do that video. How do you do it? Yes. Vegan. Drinkable super milk. And when we're at a place where we have power, that's when we can cook them for hours. Otherwise, if we don't, and we can't just use five hours of gas to enjoy some nice fresh beans, we usually make a heap so for the next two days we've got beans even though we don't have any power. So if the door flies open while we're driving, we don't have green powder everywhere. It's not shutting. That's right. Yeast for when we make some bread. Lark it in there. That's what it's called in Finnish. Green leaves that you put yes. into pickling stuff. Is it bay leaves? Might be. Must Google it. Do you really like sushi? 
a Maybe lot. Oh no! Okay, we buy some more. And we bought ourselves a rice cooker, but we actually use it mainly to make porridge, rice for sushi, and we have cooked some vegetables, but that's really rare. We've been having a lot of raw vegetables. Okay, ready, next cupboard. Shut those. And here we have our utensils. This is the stuff that many have been asking me, what is in the motorhome? So we just showed you the top shelf and the kitchen drawer in here. Now in here, for those who watch the motorhome tour, this is the stuff that's in there. We've got some paper plates. If we can't do dishes, we have plates. They're just for emergencies. Some glass plates when we have places to wash them. The ones we like to smash as we drive. Mm -hmm. Here. Our good friend. Yes, the Vitamix. We specially bought these pots because our pots at home were too wide. These are narrow ones perfectly for a motorhome. Three different sizes. One big fry pan for when we do pancakes, mm -hmm. mainly outside. Drainer. And the lids with the pots are in it. It's a plastic container from the motorhome shop. That big. So it's perfect for traveling. It takes a small space. I just realized a video we should do what to buy and not buy when you're traveling. Yes. We have these bowls and a funnel, a small toaster. Games, games, kitchen stuff. We're all done. Look at that big poo poo on that toaster. In here, there's all our camera stuff. It's meant to have a TV here, but we decided not to buy one. We could have bought one, we decided not to because we want to have a life. Yes. Down here, we have the exercise things and this tap shoes in there as well. Bins, weights for feet. We have two cupboards here next to the fridge. Open them both up. Down the bottom, we have nappy wipes, nappies, and our black towels. And one extension lid if we need it. Next one. Whoa. Over here is where we hang our winter clothes when we come inside. And also we use a lot of this for drying inside when we need to. Girls, nice dresses. Well, our black swimwear. We have some spare shirts here. These things that we wore to Ireland. And then Drissom has a jacket. Not much in there. Nope. I'm showing you how I do my laundry. If you look down here, I've just taken the lid off this bucket. I've got lids on two buckets in here. We put the dark laundry. And then we have this on the top here. And because this has this edge here, it keeps the laundry from moving. So when we're traveling in the car, in the toilet, this just stays here in the corner like that. If it happens to move, it's quite heavy, so it doesn't move. But we put the white in here, and then we put the, I actually push these on, then we put the dark in here. The children are playing outside. So I'm gonna show you how to do the laundry. I do the laundry in two different ways. If we have a washing machine, we use a washing machine. If we don't, I'll show you how I do it by hand. And in our bathroom, we have only one small cupboard. In there, what do we have? We have brushes in here. And in this one we have a few little ladies things. Um, we go through a lot of floss. <laughs> and some different shampoos once we're D'Artagnan. And our fake tan. After the kitchen cupboards over here, we have some more cupboards. Open up, show people what's inside. Be careful with your nails. <gasps> okay. In this one we have our colouring in books, drawing books. These are the school books that the children use. Sharpener. Sharpener. Under here is Nefertiti's clothing area and this is mine. And your books and little yeah. things you have. Over here we have educational stuff. Stuff that I use for homeschooling. Dad's clothes and mum's clothes. That's simple. Yes. You can tell it's dad's area because it's all black. When we are driving these guitars go up here and we put this up and when we've stopped put the guitars back down. In the front seat and up here saxophone and the vitamins are really high up there. <laughs> so normally my camera bag is up there. Of course now we're filming and editing that's why it wasn't there. And then on this side the box is up there. Now I want to say before you say it sorry <laughs> before we left I had already planned what was going to be what box mm -hmm. and nothing has changed I knew as a mum of 10 that big makeup box but there's hair brushes and hair ties and different things in yeah. there too so it's not just makeup pencils and 
Brothers. All the school supplies, all the cords, mm -hmm. chargers and everything go in there. Mix box. Has all these things that you do need, but you can't separately have them in a box. Oh, come on, what else is in? What's in there? Oh, come on, think of something. What's in there? Mention some things. The Wi-Fi box. Okay, yeah, what else? <laughs> um, then we have some straps that we've needed. To put around the babies? Yes. What else? <laughs> Tape measures. Yes! Okay, so you need a tape measure on this trip. There's some things that you know you're going to need, so it's a mixed box. And then down the bottom, glasses. Lots of people wear glasses during reading because we like to read a lot. Up here, JBL speaker and a Sony speaker, and um, here we have some music stuff. This we did at the start of the trip and nothing has changed. Yeah. They're still in exactly the same places. If someone wants to ask a question that did we create new areas for things, like if we knew that something worked better, did we do that? No, because we already knew what we needed and everything is in the same spot as the start. In this cupboard, we have Romeo's clothes, Shakespeare, Omega, this tip, and then Aphrodite has this. And the school books on the right there are Shakespeare's. Shakespeare's Explain to people why he has pink up there. It's one of the breakdancing hats. Aphrodite uses this. Is They're in Romeo's area because it's Romeo's thing. Yeah. Next cupboard. Up here we have D'Artagnan's clothes, Jerusalem's clothes, King James's clothes. And these are homeschooling books. I've got things set out for every single child. And yes, I will be doing homeschooling videos, but I cannot on this trip right now do it. We have only got about 22 days left. I just cannot do it in that time we are looking at driving 6,000 kilometers mm -hmm. and there's just so much going on can't do it yet more homeschooling stuff some people will know what this is if you don't you can look it up we've been using it for 18 years I even used this you exact did book. exactly I, I have taught Leonardo Cleopatra Trusum Romeo D'Artagnan Shakespeare and now Nefertiti and King James mm -hmm. are using it it was so fun I remember I always wanted to do homeschool baby loved it it's yeah. a good life Aphrodite came in from playing outside and she decided that she's going to take a nap on the floor. Right in front of the thing. I see that little hole right there. That's warm heat coming out of here. Oh, I see the light. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here on the door is where we hang the suits and once they're dry, then we put them into the cupboard. She is, oh my gosh, I've got to step over her, which is over here. So once it's dry, it goes in there. We use these coatings here to dry things around the edges as we drive. And once it is dry, then it goes into here, but we don't put them in here wet. Yeah, hopefully that is answering a lot of questions that people have. Yeah. I can't think of anything else. People asked me, how do you make things work? What do you do? Can you please show around? So hopefully this has answered all the questions. Out there, we have a mat. We play with Legos on there. Oh, there's leaves all over it. But we play with Legos on there and Potato Men. Of course, we take the leaves off. We could show the Potato Men and stuff from outside. Yeah. We'll go and get them. And we are going to end the video there. Mm -hmm. You are so beautiful. I love you. <laughs> Can you get the Potato Men? and the legos out and put them on the car on the mat cool thanks okay we'll go and see them and then we finished so this is where we've been staying here in germany we've really loved it here over and out yep. apart from the toy go to cleopatra at cleopatra Licardo to roll on instagram, instagram. he wants to come outside because we have our toys out here we got this big box of potato heads here. He's crying now because he wants to come outside. I'm going to let him come outside. And this big box of Legos. Potatoes. Yes. Potato heads. Let's only take out either Legos or potato heads. Don't take out both because I'll get mixed up. So is it potato heads? Yes. Oh, yeah. If anyone saw our Disneyland video, you will understand why we have so many potato heads that we actually have to use tape to put it together. We bought 12 potato heads and a load of stuff. I hope everyone has enjoyed our motorhome tour after we've been living in it for five months. Dad! Omega's watching them outside. There they are. They're having so much fun with those potato heads. We own potato heads in Australia. We left them all there, so we're gonna take this bunch with us. All I've said is don't take the potato heads off the mat, and the mat is quite big. Omega, do you wanna go outside and play with the potato heads? Yeah! Yes? Yeah. Okay, I'll get you dressed so you can go. Bye. Bye. Bye.